Shalom, 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 and Shabbat Shalom. Yep, it's Shabbat. It's all about touching on a religious subject. Change my mind. There's enough going on around the world now that sort of backs a lot of that up. Got a person I watch, he's up in uh, England, I'm guessing Manchester. Could be London, in or around. Seems to think that <clears throat> the UK is wasting money by building a nuclear power plant. That part don't concern me. Because he's wrong in his theory. I'll get to that in a second. The part that bugs me is China's building it, and China's not exactly known for quality control, or safeties, or safeguards, or anything else. I wouldn't trust the Chinese for jack shit. Yeah, I've slipped back into my military verbology. Got some things, you know, going on in my head right now. That plus 68. 80 hours a week after two months it tends to get to you that's no, okay the beta testing which is what I've been preoccupied with ended today so now we're down to doing some preliminary work for the software going into commercial retail and uh, there's a lot of work involved. Matter of fact, I got a test over there I'm running. Because I keep poking holes at it and they're going to release it anyhow. So. Anyhow, back to the topic. So, he's against the nuclear plant going in. And I agree with him on other areas, but not on what he's saying. He seems to believe that you could put solar panels on every house in the UK for 52 billion pounds and that would provide adequate power for the country and it's a lot safer and uh, cleaner than nuclear power. Well, solar is cleaner, that's true. But the problem is UK is in a higher latitude, which makes the entire solar option you know, a hobby. Even if the UK spent 52 billion pounds and put solar panels on every single roof in the UK, which is theoretically possible, you're not going to get power at night, and you're not going to get power when it's raining, and you're not going to get power when it's fog out, you're not going to get very much power when it's overcast, and if it's snowing, you might as well write it off because the panel's going to get covered over. So, no sunlight gets to from, you know, down through the panel because it's blocked by sun, snow, you know? So, he hasn't really thought the whole thing through. Not to mention, solar power is only, let's say, 15% effective in its efficiency rate. And then it drops even more when you consider that you have the panels. You have two choices, you either drop the power straight to the grid, which means it's use or lose, or you charge batteries. Now if you charge batteries, you're going to lose one third of the power. So it's not a very good option. He didn't think, he didn't think the whole thing hurt. He's just jawing at the mouth is what I call it. Actually for him, the best solution is uh, windmills in those key areas in the UK and I'm talking about the good high power ones they are up in you know the sev several kilowatt range and lots of them you could do that and that would produce power as long as wind blows wind doesn't blow it doesn't produce power but you also have to take those things down and fix them metal does fatigue so you have to work on it The other option that's available for the UK, which I am skeptimistic about, is tidal wave generators. And I don't know where in the UK I would put those. 
I mean, I've been to the UK, I've lived in the UK, but I didn't go to the ocean in the UK. And there might be something over in the channel, but again, that implies knowledge and I don't have. So theoretically it's possible, but I'm skeptical. So really for the UK, there's not that many options. You have coal, which apparently he's against. You have natural gas, which I know he's against. Um, you have petrol, he's against that too. And nuclear. You've got a small country and it's only an hour, and you don't have a lot of options. So. Whatever it is, it's got to be small, self-contained, and, well, refuelable. A nuclear plant can run with the current rods that go in. I'm estimating, and I could be wrong in a, a given areas, but we'll just say 20 years. Solar panels, same thing. They're only good for about 20 years, and then they just fall apart. This is only good until air gets into the panel. And once air gets in, you're screwed. You have to replace it. Because you're not going to get power out of it, or it's just going to short out, or it's just going to break. So you got nothing. Easy to pawn them on it. Just not worth it. I put up a few comments. Clearly he's not reading. He's just jawing off the mouth. Watched a video about Mimica. Apparently, Thick Shades is acting up again. Probably wanting attention. I got busy. Sorry, Thick Shades. I just don't have time to deal with you all the time. Plus, I knew you went to ground, and I'll just sit back waiting until I have enough material to do something. So, I'm just waiting right now. called a strategic pause and then you'll come up out of ground just like a little chipmunk and BAM as soon as you're away from that hole I got you it's called strategy and I told you what I'm doing so you'll stay away from that hole or you'll die back in Either way, I got no time to fool with you. I read something I got also this week. Uh, not good to really go into it because I'm not going to. I've been arguing with myself about it. And when a person self pawns himself, what's the bother? don't see a need, you know? If a person pawns himself with their own words, then why even take them out? I mean, they're already to the ground. Finish them off and get what? A smell? Not worth it. I thought about it just really out of spite. It's really what it would have been. And just to prove him wrong. And it wouldn't take much. In about five minutes, I'd have him dead to rights. And everybody would say, mm -hmm. he got you. So it just makes me hate him more. Not worth it. Just not worth Thought about it, like I said. I decided no. I didn't ask him. I just decided no. 
well, 60 or 80 hours a week, I can't remember. Last night I was working on that nonsense until about 2.30 in the morning. And I had to get up at 6. I wouldn't work on it tonight, but I just don't care. Well, love you guys. Take care. You have my best wishes on Shabbat. Be you Christian. Be you of the way. Be you Buddhist. Wiccan. Or atheist. Try to have a good week. And enjoy the day. For McGraw, the love of my life. Took off.